Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great start to your week so far. So here we are, September favourites. With all my being, I don't want to say, can you believe it's October? I don't want to say it, but I'm British and it's just built within my soul that I have to say that at the start of each new month. You just you can't be avoided, so I'm sorry about that. But, you know, it's the true facts. September has been and gone and I have a lot of favourites to share with you. And one fail which feels really harsh, but I have to do it, I'm sorry about it. So we're gonna start off with the faves, start off with the positivity, start off with the loves. Um, I'm gonna briefly mention a couple of products that I feel like almost I'm jumping the gun by including them here because they are very new to me, new releases. I've only had like a few days, but those few days, it's been a love affair, you know? Sometimes it's just love at first sight and you just know. Um, and I feel confident enough in these products to include them here, knowing I'm gonna go on and love these products for a long, long time. So here we go. First up is the By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder. I'm wearing this today over the top of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. It's just, ev it's everything I could want in a powder, frankly. I don't like powder. If you've been here before, you'll know I never set my face. I don't really like to set my face with powder. I don't like powders. I just don't like how they look or feel. I don't like how they mattify my glowy, dewy foundations that I love. Um, but this one, it's like by Terry listened to my prayers and my calls and they made a powder that does none of the things I dislike and all of the things that are like the advantages of powder. You know, it adds longevity, it sets foundation down, it stops things moving, it makes powders like bronzers, blushes, highlights go on easier and silkier. Um, it stops things getting too dewy or glowy throughout the day, but it does not take away the luminosity. It does not take away the skin look that I like to my foundations. So yeah, fair play by Terry, fair play. I've got a video coming up probably on Thursday, probably my next video of me applying this along with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. So if you wanna see it in action, then go check that out. I have the shade 300. I wish I had also picked up the lighter shade 200 so I could have tried that like under my eyes because this is like my skin tone shade and will be too dark for me to use under my eyes um but i think this will be really lovely under the eyes as well so yeah definitely recommend checking this one out the other kind of love at first sight item this month i'm sure you'll be able to guess is the hourglass ambient lighting blush quad in the shade ghost is that a shade i guess it is so these are the swatches of this blush palette Again, if you want to see me applying this and using this, then that video will be up on Thursday. I absolutely love this palette. It's everything I want and more. A lovely choice. I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror. Lovely choices in here, but only going to work up to about my skin tone or really only going to be worth it, I'd say, up to about an NC40, 42, possibly. Um, these shades, um, the coral shade down here and this pink shade on me show up beautifully. I've got this one on my cheeks today. This one is very, very subtle right now and I cannot use this one as like a highlight. It's like lighter than my skin. That's this one here. And that's the um, permanent shade. It is called Brilliant Nude. So yeah, that's the permanent shade in the palette. The other shades are limited edition in this quad. Um, so I can't use this one. If you are deeper than me, you won't be able to use this one. This one will be very, very subtle. This one will be very, very subtle. This one may show up a little more. So yeah, I wish they brought out this palette and a deeper palette as we seem to say this every year to Hourglass and they don't seem to listen. As far as this palette goes on my skin and lighter, if you love blush, if these are your shades, if you love Hourglass formulas, the glowy, luminous, skin-like formulas that they nail, I don't think you'll be disappointed in this one at all. Next up, I know in my previous 
favourites video for August that I mentioned that I wasn't going to be including any of the foundations because there were so many that month. I felt like the whole video was going to be foundations and people were going to be bored. So I made that a separate video and did a foundations ranking video. And now it's interesting to me as we go into autumn. My dog is going eight. As we go into autumn to see which of those foundations that I bought in my summer shade am I like hankering after once I need to use my winter shade. So I have all those foundations that came out in August and September in my summer shade, like my NC40, 42-ish shade. Um, and the first one I've purchased in my winter shade is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. My dog I've been loving this foundation. It's been very interesting to me once foundation Geddon ended that I was able to go back to using my existing favourite foundations. Which ones was I, was I still reaching for? Which ones did I like enough to keep using now that I could go back and use my staple phase? My Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere, my Rodeor, my Tainted Doll, my NARS Natural Radiant. Those that are like my ultimate favourites. Which one of those? kill me dead to kind of see you know that is really the test for me whether how much I love a foundation if when it gets to the, uh, the you know either the summer and I've got my winter shade or the winter and I've got my summer shade whether I really want to pick up the other shade on or whether I can just live without it for a few months um, and this one as soon as I saw that it was reduced on Beauty Bay I was like I need it I want it in my winter shade so I picked up the shade 270C so those of you who are like my winter shade twins this is a really nice shade and um, obviously I can't use it on my face right now it's much too light for me but I swatched it against some of my other great winter shade matches and I will show you it's it's a great shade so here is the Anastasia 270C this is um, Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6 and this is the Flawless Lumiere from Laura Mercier in the shade Tawny and these are two of my very good winter shades so this is maybe a hair lighter um, than these two but obviously I do have this in my summer shade so I can mix which is is ideal um, but yeah it gives me that option if I do get a little bit lighter and it's a great tone very close in tone to these other shades if you've been wondering what's a great shade for us in the winter or if you are my shade all year round my winter shade all year round then 270c I think is going to be a lovely shade in my fairer skin so yeah this foundation it's everything I look for in a foundation it's medium to full coverage it looks like skin it's very smoothing it wears really nicely on me it doesn't transfer all over my children like some dewier foundations do it's the perfect level of luminosity without being too much and I just absolutely love it and I've also now got shades, beautiful shades of the perfect undertones for me in both my summer and my winter skin. So that is always a real big plus for me for foundation. So yeah, this is definitely one that I've continued to reach for now that I've got my other favourites back in rotation and definitely one that's still in like my day-to-day -day, everyday grab for draw because I really am loving it still. So next up a few products from Trini London. If you didn't see my Trini full face of Trini London video then I was very generously sent a full face to try from Trini London which is a brand here in the UK kind of a small niche brand but definitely growing rapidly and everything tailored to more mature skin everything's very flattering everything is beautiful cream formulas that look like skin that don't age you that don't sit in lines everything is very tailored to like what I love and what I go for so my absolute favorites out of everything I tried I got on really beautifully with everything in that video but the things that are my picks from the brand are the BFF cream I use this as a either no makeup day just you know whack it on to give me a little bit of help in the skin area this has um spf 30 in it and um it's it's definitely like a bb cream so it doesn't have coverage and it's one of those weird like it goes on white but then it adjusts to your skin tone 
it is really crazy and it just gives you a touch of evening up of the skin so you can see my hands there like this one look this one sorry looks way glowier more evened out smoother things like pores are like filled in it's just a it's exactly what it says on the tin a skin perfecter that's exactly what it is with some great spf in there um so this has become either a great kind of primer product for me or those no makeup days when i just want a, a touch of something take away some of my redness even at some of my skin tone look a bit more glowy and awake i've been loving this like an extra moisturizer with some extra benefits as well and um, the other products that really hit the mark for me from trini was her bronzer and um, i talked about this in my video if you didn't see it being like the kind of answer to my prayers when it comes to wanting like a Chanel Soleil Tanda Chanel that was a little bit darker for my kind of summer skin and this is definitely it look at that tone that is like I'm trying to just sort of blend it a bit more rather than like doing a stripe to kind of show you how it would actually look on the skin um but you can see me apply all these products in that video but it's just the perfect tone it blends so easily but it's dark enough to actually bronze me um which the chanel one is not in the summer um it's got a glorious beautiful finish it doesn't disturb products underneath i've really been enjoying this on sort of light glowy natural looking days and then the other product these are her stacks by the way everything clicks together i just love that whole system if you want to know more about that whole line check that video out i will link it down below and then this is one of her blushes in the shade cha cha and i was really pleasantly surprised you just need the smallest amount look at that pigmentation again although it's mega pigmented look how it blends out doesn't move anything got a really long wearing formula for a cream blush that is something that really annoys me with cream blushes and this one because it's on the more sort of natural matte type of finish it's not sliding off my face or disappearing by lunchtime it actually dries down and it can be used on the lips as well and it's gorgeous you can see how you can really build this up or blend it out they're just so flexible and i've just really really loved using these and i love how travel friendly they are with all the clicking stacks so yeah those are kind of my absolute smash hits from that brand next up a couple of finds that i got from space nk that were proper wins this month the becca chloe malika palette i've been really enjoying this palette i especially love the bronzer um, this is a lovely bronzer really really nice kind of neutral shade which i love Ooh running out of space this is like my kind of perfect bronzer you know it's a little bit neutral but not too cool not too warm I just put this on my wet hand that I just wiped off which was a mistake um but you can see the tone is perfect the finish is perfect for what I like um as in it's you know it's not mega matte it's not like shimmery either it's got a sort of luminosity and natural quality to the finish the blushes are super pretty and glowy so again kind of blushes that you can go without highlight and just have a glowier blush but the highlight as well oh, look at that highlight oh, i love this palette huge big mirror i'm finding myself using the mirror a lot as well even if i'm not using the palette um but again i got that half price at tk maxx it was 24.99 that one i think um so yeah they still had loads in my tk max when i went in and they have both palettes so that is a mega bargain if you ask me i was also lucky enough to finally find the anastasia beverly hills blush trio in the shade peachy love i've picked up blush trios at tk max before from anastasia but they never had the peach one which was really the one that i ultimately wanted to find and it is just heaven in a blush palette i just you know me i love peachy tones but i love the fact that although these are kind of these are peaches they are all so different to each other if you see what i mean like they are so pretty i just love mixing them together they've got all different finishes i just kind of like to swell my brush in all three and whack it on and it's just they're just gorgeous everyday peachy shades that i have been loving and it was a score at 9.99
winning another blush that i picked up this month and this is the chanel elegance blush oh if i had to use one blush for the rest of my life it would probably be this blush it's the easiest most natural blush ever the smell it is really perfumed so bear that in mind if that's not your thing um when you first swatch this it looks so glittery that you're like ooh. um I, did, I mean, when I first watched it, I didn't even know if I would pick it up because it looks so glittery. But as you blend it in to the skin, it just becomes a glow. It's very reminiscent of like NARS is Madly, um, Max, what's it called there? I can't even remember the name, you know, like Max Classic Blush. What is it? Can't remember. But it is instantly become an absolute go-to favorite staple for me because of the beautiful finish the glowy finish and just the everyday wearable shade it will go with any makeup look you could possibly conceive of it is just so soft and pretty i can wear it now lots of people told me it wouldn't show off my skin now in the summer and it does and um, but obviously in the winter it will be it will be show up more on my more fair skin i've also gone back to a old 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 bronzer lately this is max give me sun it's the bronzer i've got on today and i was just reaching for this lately because i wanted a more a warmer bronzer than I generally go for these days and it's just such a classic this bronzer it's very buildable and easy to use um yeah I've just really really been enjoying this and reaching for this like this domed domed bronzer it's a mineralized formula so it's got that domed it's now completely flat so you can see how much I've used this over the years and I've just really rediscovered it lately and been loving it it's just very very warm but in a natural way it's not orangey i think the thing is when i open this i always think all oh, orange but on the skin it looks just really nice and natural um and i've been really really reaching for that one again lately so i thought i would pop that one in there i got this mascara sample from charlotte tilbury this is the legendary lashes volume two the mascara i've got on today everyone was telling me this is my charlotte tilbury mascara this is the one i'll enjoy the most and it definitely is this is my type of lash full fat fake looking lashes i don't love it as much as my monsieur big because that one is just a bit more pow but it is a very nice mascara if you want a slightly more natural look than the monsieur big I think you will love this one. It is really, really nice, but it's just a hair more subtle than Monsieur Big, which is obviously full kapow. Next up, this Fenty Highlight Duo. I have been obsessed with this. This is the shade Afternoon Snack slash Mo Honey. Where's some space? So these are the two shades. This, as you can see, is the more subtle shade. All of these duos from Fenty have a subtle shade and then a kapow shade and I just feel like this duo both of these are so pretty and beautiful and don't leave a cast on my skin I'm hardly reaching for any other highlight other than these two lately they are just everything I look they they're wet glowy you can use them really naturally or you can build them up to be bonkers they're totally tailorable um, and I've been absolutely obsessed with it. I especially like that I can use both shades in here. I feel like a lot of these duos, only one side is amazing. The other side is kind of not really gonna use it. Whereas I love both of the shades in here and use them both depending on where on the face and what's the occasion and things like that. And I just absolutely love it and will use it to death. That is definitely gonna be like a pan project for next year probably so next up i've got a couple of skincare products these are pixie's vitamin c range so this is the tonic and this is the vitamin c serum i've been using these probably for 10 days to two weeks probably two weeks now um and i have noticed a visible improvement to my hyperpigmentation um obviously i've got makeup on today so it's not ideal to show you the difference but if you look at my sale video um that i did I think it was last Friday where I went through all of the offers and sales that were on in beauty at the moment. You'll be able to see my bare naked face. Um, obviously it's harder for you guys. I know my face pretty well. Um, but you will see, hopefully if you know my naked face and how bad my melasma is, um, I've definitely noticed an improvement in my hyperpigmentation slash 
melasma that I get on my forehead. You can see it poking through probably. And here, it's definitely an, a diff, like a vast improvement. And this is the only thing that I've changed in my skincare. So that is a win. The one thing I will say is that this tonic dyes my hands orange. It looks like, I wish I could show you, but actually because I've got figured it out now, what is doing it, um, I now wash my hands after I've done my skincare to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, but the first few days I used this, I was like, it looked like I had a fake tan disaster, like the palms of my hands were like turning orange. And so I figured out that this is the only thing that I'm putting in my hands um, that could possibly be doing it. And when I Googled it, it is apparently a known side effect, I guess, or something that can happen with vitamin C with this product in particular. Um, so watch out for that because that was confusing. I haven't found it's doing it to my face, but it is doing it to my hands. But yeah, I really, really impressed with these products um, and the effect that it's had on my hyperpigmentation. I just didn't even really know that that was gonna happen, but it's definitely noticeable. So last but not least for the favourites, I have two lip products. First up is this Buxom Full Force Triple Threat, and this is a plumping lipstick. I talked about this or I showed this in my favourite fall lip shades because it is the perfect fall berry warm brownish shade plus it's got that plumping quality to it so you can get some lovely full lips which I love. Second of all this shade that I've got on today so this is In Love with Olivia and this is Charlotte Tilbury's Hot Lips and I've just been loving this since we've gone into autumn and um you know i've started to move away from the warm orangey peachy makeup that i do every day of my life and kind of moving into mauves and just slightly more full shades um and this this one this that's on my lips right now is the perfect hint of peach it's kind of like a transition shade for the lips if you will as we move into fall and i am just it's just so easy to wear and natural um these have got kind of been my go-to couple of lip shades these past couple of weeks and now for my one fail of the month and that is the Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara. I feel bad about this because it's not a bad mascara, it's a really nice mascara. If you love a natural fluffy lash you will probably love it um, but it is just not my style. I need fat, fake, huge, ginormous, take up half my face kind of lashes and I can't get there with this. I have to put like 28 coats on and even then it's just not what where I want it to be. It's not, my lashes aren't hitting people in the face as I walk through the door, which is what I go for. So I feel harsh because it's not a bad mascara. I actually think it's got a lot going for it. It's just not my type on paper, you know? So there you have it. Those are my faves and one all kind of a fail for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now, bye 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 bye.